Hi guys, how are you going? Campbell here from Autodidactic Channel. Hope you're having an amazing day. And as always guys, Autodidactic means to be self-educated. And in today's world, we need to be self-educated because they're just not telling us the truth about what's going on today and about what has gone on in the past. So today I wanted to take a look at Africa in the 1600s and we'll have a look and we'll see if the story that we get the narrative of, of the history of Africa actually matches the pictures that we have this is from a book from 1690s and this is basically is a town on a river in Africa a villa on the river of Kwama in Africa and that is quite clearly a castle. Okay, we've got four ramparts. That's a classic square castle with a big tower. And we just have buildings all up here. We have another tall tower here. This is a very large building and stuff out the back. And it looks like they've got, you know, quite adequate big boats. Some building some boats down here on the shore. We're out rowing around. And here we have <laughs> the Spanish are coming. So does that match that picture? Does that match what you were told was happening in Africa in the 1600s? Castles. Stay tuned and let's get into this, guys. <laughs> Now you may remember this map, I've done a, a video on this, it's a map from uh, 1400s and this is Africa and what it shows us in Africa is just castles everywhere, large towers, steeples and they seem to all have a very uh, connected canal system that just goes to all, you know, lots of the castles are in moats, other ones are... They just go out into big lakes. But as you can see, Africa just completely covered, completely built out with castles. They're everywhere. Egypt, we've got the pyramids here and castles. Now these may of course be the temples that we've still got there. And we know the size of those temples. So you can see in perspective, there's just, you know, this thing here would be huge. And look at the size of this. So castles everywhere. Look at this. <laughs> Mauritiana, that's where we get the moors from, and all the way down, just huge, huge, huge castles. So this is what we're told, this map is uh, a picture of Africa from the 1400s, 1450s. So let's have a look at what the books say. Do they agree with this map or do they agree with what we're told in our history books? So this is a book. So just open him up and you can see this is, oh, thought this one had a date, I cannot, oh there, 1729 is a production date of this book. And it is basically, oh, the title of the book is oops, The Pleasant Gallery of the World, where we see in a large number of very exact maps and beautiful soft sizes the main empires, republics, provinces, cities, towns, and fortresses, islands, coasts. And I obviously didn't get enough of that. Um, English, battlements, Africa. There. Yeah, so it is, it is Africa. Just so you know, third volume of Africa by Pieter van der van der A. I don't know. So we'll have a look at this book first. <clears throat> okay, and to start off with, we get a picture, a 
of an African looking gentleman and he's got a crown on his head. He's obviously a king. He's got a scepter type thing which looks very metal. There you go, we've got some ostriches and some other people, elephants, bit of the wildlife. And this map again, if we come in and have a look, it does have castles. Castles, castles, castles. Quite a bit. Not as much as we see in the in the uh, map that was a few hundred years earlier, but still a lot. This is the inhabitants of the Congo. And you can see this. He's got some metallic things on him. So not really the image that we're given of Africans these days, are we? He's you know got a skirt type thing on, he's looking pretty good. But in the background, guys, here we go again. Big towers with steeples. Okay, big multi-story buildings. Domes. In the Congo, and this book, 1730, <clears throat> when it was released. So these really, they would have been done early 1700s, these pictures. Again, here's another image and just castles. Castles, castles, castles. This looks, I don't know, is that sort of flooded out? Is that, see, this looks like it's kind of in, in the hill a bit. Towers, big sort of buildings, you know, just everything. And they're the, the natives, the native people <clears throat> of Africa. And here you can see in their boats, doing some fishing, down the shore here, doing their laundry. So castles in Africa. And we saw this, uh, you know, a very similar thing in the, the Americas at the sort of same time frame. Here we go, this is the king, a king of some region. He's got some very cool shoes on. Look at these. Don't know what's going on there. Uh, here we have his crown. I think this is a coronation, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Coronation of the King of Congo. And here he comes. Everyone's celebrating. Here he is after his coronation. Oh, it looks like, but look at this candelabra. Looks like the Spanish have arrived. And so here we just have a few more pictures of the natives. Uh, just there we go. And as you can see, these look at these guys. I mean, is this a mirror or something? I'm not sure. Look at the hats. But just look at the the, the you know the fashion, the garb they're wearing. Now that's very well made. You know, it's it's almost what we would call, what we're told is sort of Persian, you know, Islamic kind of clothing. Um, but that's also what is Moorish, what was called Moors, because these people didn't call themselves Moor, but they were called that because they were from places like Mauritania. Mauritania. As you can see, big feather headdresses. And across here, there's like this doorway it just seems to go into a cliff. I don't know. See that? We've got this doorway. Some kind of ceremony happening. And, you know, this guy too, very well dressed. You know, he's got beads and stuff on. A sword. And this is not what we're told, is it, at all, of what was going on in Africa. Here again, this is the, the king. Look at this massive throne. He's up the top there. Uh, looks like there's a fold in this and you can't really see him very well. A massive urn down here, people everywhere. And a lot of these people, so we've got to sort of work out who's who here. And these people are all bowing down. So maybe Magnificence of the Royal Congo. Let's just have a look what that says. So I'm just wondering if these guys. I mean, you would think that they are Spanish. They seem to have taken over already. 
magnificence of the King of Cong Congo in giving an audience. So this is the King of Congo giving an audience. So again, what's going on? We've got like a Pope, you know, someone with a Pope hat on, a big Jesus cross, another bishop guy. Are they Spanish? Because when you look at this crowd of people, you know, clearly they're not, they don't look Spanish, do they? I don't think they do. They do have those puffy pants on though. But why would they be down on their knees, you know, giving adoration to this king? I don't know, it's a bit of a strange picture, but these are all look Caucasian, these people. They just do, don't they? So what's going on? Now you may have seen uh, Martin Liedke. He did a video where he showed pictures of the Congo. Uh, I think his was back in the 1400s or so. And he had the same thing. He had castle, he had kind of color pictures, um, like painted. Um, and the same thing, and lots of Caucasians and lots of castles, but also, you know, not all Caucasians. It was a full-on mixed culture. So not what we're told at all. And look at these two guys. This says, the forms and habits of the nobles of the Congo. So these are the nobles of the Congo. Look at that guy. He looks like, to me that looks like a Caucasian with curly blonde hair. Metal sword. Here's another one. It looks the same. It looks like he's got curly blonde hair. It looks like it's how it's been drawn. It looks very Caucasian. And look at this hat. Now, have you seen the hats that the ladies in Peru wear? They are very similar to this. And what we're told, the story for the hats of the ladies in Peru is that somehow back in the you know early 1900s, I think it was, some shipment of hats just turned up in Peru and you know, it was not supposed to and so it got left there and so they just started wearing the hats. But there may be a lot more to that story. This guy looks like he's got some kind of beret on. And yes, <laughs> you can see it. This isn't, I mean, come on, look at this. Look at that tower with a massive dome on it. No, it's just completely built out, completely. And I'll leave the link for this book uh, in the description for you guys so you can go through it at your leisure. This is just a bit of you know, the fauna. Uh, the, this is how they get around, how they carry people around. Um, so they're porters, yeah, basically. Um, on a voyage. So I'm not sure who's in here, but yeah, just so to show you there. Got this little cage and he's sitting there hanging on, getting walked around. He's in like a hammock kind of thing. And this guy's like on a chair, sort of sitting down. He's got his foot there and a little parasol. And he's being carried around. So it looks like this is um, Orta Mene de Porta on voyage. So yeah, it's something about taking someone on a voyage. But again, like these guys, I don't know, especially this guy, he doesn't look, you know, they, they look African, they don't look Caucasian, like they look what, what we call, told, is African. So like I said, it's not just, you know, <laughs> races don't exist, but it's not just people, you know, you know, if I say the wrong thing, you, YouTube will probably cut this video, but you know what I'm trying to say, we're, we're all just people, and this was just a mixed, society. There was no, you know, there were no walls around, you look like this and I look like this. There was, it looks like it was mixed society before these guys got there. And it looks like they're starting to baptize people. This guy's going to be pole. Here we go, a few more people being carried around. Um, yeah. Christians in the Congo and ceremonies of baptism. So there you go, they're baptizing people. Here's a zebra. I find its head a bit interesting, but there you go. A zebra, that would have been a bit of an oddity. 
And here's some more of the fauna. And yes, you can see it. What is this? This, we saw something very similar to this uh, in a picture I showed of um, Peru. What was it? The town, a town in Peru that was a walled city. Um, and one of the people was holding something very similar to this. Very similar. Uh, Cusco, it was Cusco in Peru when it was walled back in the 1700s. Elephants and something and animals of the Congo. You can see elephants in the background. So some interesting, you know, images in here. And the thing is, these this was a voyage that was sent out, you know, no doubt it cost of the king. And he would have said, go out, have a look around, come back and tell me what's going on. I want to know what tech they have, where everything is, where, you know, where's their best land, where's all their resources. If we want to steal this stuff, who, who do we have to take on? Who do we have to kill? You know, give me accurate records so that they wouldn't be taking back just made up pictures. Would they? This is all, because we know what happened after this. They, they did go back and they destroyed everything. They destroyed all this because we don't hear of this anymore. Uh, Lonus Polo. This looks like a cross on his head. He looks like he's Spanish and he's trying to talk this native lady into something. She's got a mirror by the looks of it. Nice big sun hat. You know, nice robes. Again, in the background, just towers everywhere, domes, you know, things up on hills. It's just walls everywhere, completely built out. And what happened to all this stuff? Did it all get buried under a flood, under sand? Did it get knocked over? Now, this is, yeah, where it gets a little bit creepier. Uh, so, yeah, cannibalism. These guys look like they've got a guy and they're trying to rip him in half. I'm not sure what all this sort of rope stuff is, but that looks like it could be, you know, intestines. Nice. Um, Africana, I'm not sure what that says, but I did check that. that definitely, <laughs> it's definitely cannibalism. Here you go, another one. You know, this guy's hunting birds in the background here. But this guy, he's hunting this guy. This guy's only got a broken sword. And in the background, this guy's just chopping people up. It's a bit gruesome. Now, we also have stories of cannibalism happening in North America from a Chinese map that was done in a voyage. That, and it was mapped in the 1400s again, I think. And also from Australia. Uh, another gruesome picture of them chopping people up. So, you know, cannibalism, where did that come from, right? Did that come because there was a flood and like there was just no food, no anything? Is that how it could have come about? Orangutan. Because it does seem to have been around in these times. Mozambique. This guy's got nice long hair, so, you know, most, you know, Africans' hair doesn't grow that way, does it normally? And he's, you know, look, he's a very well-dressed guy. He's only got wood. Looks like he's got a wooden knife. And he's got this club. And his wife here with a couple of kids. And what do we have in the background? But a star fort. You can see how this, this is one of these ramparts that comes out. Another one there. Star Ford. And buildings kind of everywhere in the background. In Mozambique in the early 1700s, guys. So it's, you know, it's not what we've been told, is it? It's just a map. But again, these are plantations fields, crops, whatever, and you can see it, they're everywhere. And again, Africa, you know, these were they were farming. They had fields and crops everywhere. It's, it's got a um, 
up in the corner here it tells you what everything is what the pictures are these are villages it says so that's what I could work out <laughs> from this uh, so the squares the air plantations anchorages uh, rocks um, I've forgotten what that one was but yeah so you can see we've got some big villages here 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 and we've just got farms everywhere through here you know completely built out here again starport that's from that we just saw that in the other picture it's just a slightly different angle and you can see that's definitely a starport I think it's the same one this is uh, Cape de Bon in F Esperance again the Spanish coming in here's some of the natives so these are looking a bit more like where told all of Africa was um, they might just be in a hotter part, you know, just wearing less clothes really isn't isn't it? Again, so this is yeah, Esperance C D Bonnet Esperance. I haven't heard of Esperance in Africa. There's an Esperance in Western Australia where I live, but um so I'm not sure what's happening here. I don't even know what that is. Again in the background, <laughs> Starfort. And it looks like the same stuff, you know, that we saw in that American book. You know, Spanish roll in and the violence starts. People start to fight each other and kill. And looks like we've got some battles going on. Or maybe there's a piercing. Maybe they're doing piercings. I don't know. We've got bow and arrows here. It looks like these guys are clubbing someone. So, I mean, this may also be to do with, <coughs> excuse me, cannibalism. Not sure. Ethiopia, prisoners. Yeah. Learning French, but don't really read it yet, but I'm getting there. And here we have some lions. A snake. Interesting plant. And here we go. Look at that. I mean, that's just a huge castle. Completely built out. There's stuff out here in the background. It's just everywhere. Sifal o Zofala, a villa on the river of Kama in Africa. And again, this looks like that's a bit more sort of uh, you know, tribal down here where they are now. Got all their huts. Looks like a pretty big hut though, doesn't it? A lot going on in there. Maybe here's some more huts. And you know, these are very sizable huts. And they're big. Bit of a fight going on. Here as well. Okay, we've got a naked lady archer for some reason. What is this courage? Uh, the, the females of the royal royal monomatapa. Mono I have no idea what that says, but I am interested. That's an interesting kind of a photo. It says, the cradle of the king of Sophala's garden, funeral service for the Sophali courage in war, the women of the kingdom, figures and weapons. So it looks like their women used to get out and battle. Oh, are these all women? Oh, wow, okay, yeah, right. And these are dudes, oh my gosh. Okay, so there's some ferocious naked women running with bows and arrows taking on these dudes. They got no, they got <laughs> no shields, no armor, no nothing. Wow. Here it is again in the back, and these guys are running away by the looks of it. They got big shields. Interesting. That guy as well, he, he looked a bit Caucasian, didn't he? Ah, map. 
Okay, so this is Fort Dauphin. What do we have here? Some of the natives. I'm not sure what kind of animal that is. Interesting hairstyle. And in the background, there's buildings. And so it was all built out. I mean, and I think you know that the people we see in these pictures weren't of the society that built those buildings. They were probably inheritors, like all over the other place. You know, all over the other place, all over the rest of the world. What happened? Whoever was there just sort of inherited these buildings. These guys look very Caucasian. He's got a parasol on. I mean, see her face. So I don't know who these are. Habits of Rondrians, habits of the armies of Magasia. So yeah, Google Translate is pretty helpful. When you're looking at these, close with the Rondrians, close in arms of the inhabitants of Magasia. Way to dedicate a new house. Oh, people of the island of Madagascar. Nice. Okay, so here they are. So there you go. Look, they, this, you know, they look, they look like what we'd call Persian, you know, don't they? Almost Tartarian, Mongolian, I don't know. Definitely don't look like what the history books have, or like those pictures. So 17. Hundreds in Africa, early 1700s. Got lots of people here. Fire. This is some kind of dedication of houses or something. They said. Looks like there's some dead animals here. I'm not sure what's going on. Some kind of got some priests or something here. Interesting hats. Coronation. Circumcision of the infant. Oh. Okay, so they're circumcising an infant, and this is the people of Madagascar. How did they get that tradition? Looks like they're carving stuff out, moving a big rock. Funeral, so they're creating a, this is a funeral. Okay, so they're probably creating a casket. Don't know what this rock is, tombstone, maybe another priest. Now, I mean, there we go. It's not really what we've been told, is it? Looks like a what we call what we're told are you know, Africans next to what we're told are Caucasians. It's what it looks like. So this is, you know, have they how how much have they jumbled us up you know, with orphan trains and resets and shipping people around the world and you know the slave trade and all this kind of stuff? It was all just mixing up the different cultures so that we all get left not knowing what our heritage and our history and our story is. Saint Helen's so now it just looks like the Spanish out there with their guns, running around shooting pigs. As they do that to kill things. And here again, more car, you know. Look. Fort Orange. Now this, this stuff was still there, I put that on Google Maps. I shall have to have a look at it. Another one down there. So what's going on? Uh, the Spanish are rocking up and their star forts everywhere. And of course, don't forget that we're told the Spanish built most of these star forts, right? They, they claim it, but clearly they have found them. Is this... I'm not sure what that is. Oh, they must be inside the star fort because they've got the... They brought their little cannons in, or did they find them? Cannons are very heavy, very hard to move, got the cannonball. And cannons are just so inaccurate, they don't work. Up. <laughs> There's videos on YouTube and you can literally, they've got people firing cannons at 
just stacks of bricks, just single bricks, like a wall, but with no, no mortar, and the cannon can't knock it over. So there's a big question about cannons as well. What were they? Were they really shooting these balls, or were they something else? Another map. We'll just go through the rest of the pictures, because I've just got another bit of a book I want to show you. Okay, so that's out here, some little island. Uh, my map of Malta in the Mediterranean. There's a person with his Maltese cross on. Now, Malta is basically one big star fort. Just wondering if we can see anything on this. Oh, man, it looks, you can see, oh, there's one. <laughs> there's one. And you can see you've got towers here. More forts, more towers. Towers, towers, towers. Another fort. And in here, yeah, they have drawn it. Yeah, so this, this region here is just, just star forts on star forts. And you can see they've drawn all the walls of the star cities. You know, we see this everywhere. Out on the end here. So there you go. They, they knew they were there. And if you think that the Spanish went around and they built all these star forts and all these castles and buildings when they were just going around in ships, then <laughs> you may want to re-examine your history. Uh, here again, this is Malta, yeah, look at that, just star forts, star forts, star forts, star forts, star forts city, this place. It's just one big, huge star fort, you can see there's one at the bottom there, this is just a huge star fort. This is, you can see this today, it's on Google Maps, easy to find, it just sticks out in the water, goes across here, have another bit of one, out here, out here, and then back in, look at that massive top of one. And there's more up here. I mean, and that's, that's literally what Bob Malta is like. It's covered in star forts. And you can see built out with cathedrals, you know, very symmetrical streets, but big buildings. Look at this one. What's that? Star forts in Malta. Okay, we've kind of left Africa, but let's just have a quick look. Seems we're here. Some scenes from Malta, and now look at this, this is underneath in the catacombs. And there's so many stories about this, they say that, you know, when the, you know, the, oh, who were they? I can't even remember, but basically, um, people, you know, from the, the Catholic Church and things, and Freemasons and Knights Templars and all these kind of people all ended up in Malta and started, you know, all the secret societies, a lot of them come from there, got Maltese crosses and stuff. And they tell us that they built all these catacombs. Now, are these people short compared to these people? What's going on there? Are they kids or something? I don't really say. Lou, Sautains, and Malta. So, does that mean I'm subterranean? I mean, this is a big place too. Look at this. It's big. It's completely dark, you know. And it's like, here's a bit, of, a bit of light coming in. Underneath Grotto of Malta. Interesting. So, um, I actually did a video where I showed that, you know, one of the underground grottos and they'd found all these elongated skulls and stuff in there. Um, so there we go. <laughs> that was interesting to end up on that. So I do have, uh, it's not that, we have this. So this is, so yeah, this is a bit earlier. Our oh, publication is 1773, but you can see it was all done early 1700s as well. Illustrations of the histories and discoveries, conquest of the Portuguese, of lands, da da da. 
what you call as America 1500 French French geography France but I'll show you it is <laughs> it is Africa um, okay so here we can go I've got an angel up here with his trumpet no doubt singing the glory of Spain and just have this massive built out city with castles and things in it. Oh, it's just really front page. It does have a picture of Neptune though, being drawn by fish. Map of the world, and this is uh, one of the Portuguese people. And here we go. So this is the discoveries of Portuguese in Africa. Afrique. And it, it just it looks very similar to the, the American book that we saw, you know. They're sort of finding these, you know, it says that this, as far as I can tell, this is the native, you know, leader. Because these guys are all sort of paying adoration to him. And this looks like a Spanish person who's sort of trying, you know, hello, just meeting him, trying to be nice. But the natives are like on the ground, like, oh my gosh, worship. Got some Vestal Virgins or something there. So in Africa, you know, this is the thing, like, they have like these proper kings and it seems like an established religion that, that a lot of the, you know, the clothes they were wearing were very similar to what was going on with Catholicism and, and the Roman Vatican Church. So here we go. Here we have an island that is a starport. You can see the walls along here, and they've even got bits so I can get to the river. I've got a big enclosed castle here, big cathedral. At the top we've got a starport. More enclosed forts. And you can see these ramparts of the starport at the bottom. And that's on an island, so some of that may have fallen away. Here we have it again. I think this is the same one. Uh, maybe it's a different one. Massive castle built right on the water, as we always see, and walled. This has got those rounded sort of bits that we see a lot. Very, very star forty. And look at this. That's a big walled fort. And look at this castle. What's how many stories is that? Like one. One, two, you know, I don't know, one, two, three, it's five stories or something. I mean, look at that compared to this, which looks like a big building. These are the people. So, you know, there was a lot going on down in Africa. You know, they've just come in and invaded and found all these civilizations built out. There's another star fort there. This might be the island we saw earlier. I'm not sure. But they're everywhere and look at this just like full of the canals you know like we saw on that map from the 1450s it looks like there's just canals everywhere and it's just food being grown everywhere and another big castle <laughs> as you do oops that way so, uh, yep and again look at this now this is obviously some kind of city, but look, it's just got water and canals all the way through it. I think that's what they are. If not, then they're, what are you know? Are they built up buildings or something? I mean, I'm not sure, but a lot of fields out here. This is their farming land. We've got orchards and just this. I'm not really sure what that is. Maybe that wall bits and these are buildings and I don't know. Well, whatever it is, it's built up and there's a lot going on there. And across the, the water here, a few more buildings and the canals. It's very interesting. So I think this is probably what was going on rather than what we've been told in our history books and look at this place discoveries of the Portuguese in Africa the villa of Dad Aden Mombazi 
Kila St. George de la Mine. I have no idea what, where that is. In Africa somewhere. The city of Aden, Mombezi, Kilwa, St. George. I'm not sure where that is, but look at this. It looks like an island. So this held in, we've got, like, literally, this is almost in the water. Just a massive castle. Right on the water's edge. Up here, up here, we've got big towers. Obviously, we've got this massive walled city with, look at these domes. Watching this as far as I can zoom in, but look at those domes. Look at all the towers. Look at them all. There is a ton of them. And then up on, look at this. On every mountaintop, on every peak, there is a castle. Wow, man. What? Same. The city of Adam. I've never heard of the city of Adam. I'm sorry, I'm going to do this. <laughs> Bear with me, let's see what we find here. City of Adam, oh, well, there you go. Let's have a look. Looks like what it was ever there has been, it looks like the same kind of a, you know, um, topography, is that the right word? But it looks like all those forts have disappeared. Doesn't that? This will warrant some bit more investigation, I think. But yeah, it doesn't look like. Man, they can't have destroyed them all. And you can see there's lots of old world buildings there. Look at these, you know, so it's got, it's got a lot of old world stuff. Looks like it's not in very good repair. But they're definitely, definitely Tartarian buildings. So that's it's really quite built out. So Aden, I've not heard of Aden. If you have and if you've been there, please let me know. I mean, that, that looks... Bit star forty, I don't know. Anyway, let's continue with the book. But that's, I mean, that's just ridiculous. That is just super ridiculous. Look at the, uh, look at those towers. Mombaz. So this, these are obviously islands, and I mean, look at that. Aquilo. It's pretty much just the same. Not quite as big. And St. George de la Mine, and smaller again, but still castles up here. And this is what the Spanish were finding, guys, in the 1700s. So where did it all go? What's happened to it all? This is them basically saying we're awesome. So this, the house of the Isle of Ormus. Big plantation there, big you know, wall house thing, and again, just massively huge, big buildings on this little island, real, built right out to the edge, and a start what at the end. Thanks for coming. So this, you know. This is why you've got to be autodidactic, guys. Well, this is why we have to be self-educated. We have to look for this stuff because no one's going to tell it to us. We have to find this stuff ourselves. Don Vasco da Gama. And you can see this just all this. Now this, this is Antiquitech. You see this a lot. Uh, what's it called? There's something cross. Um, that that's that pops up a lot. Not sure what that is. Just interesting bits, you know. Globe Earth, maybe. And just all these interesting bits on their pictures. 
It's all symbolism, all symbolism. They can read it. <clears throat> the Freemasons now also the word Freemason, right? What what's masonry? Masonry uh, is things like bricks, you know, bricks and blocks and cement and stuff. So if you get free masonry, does that mean you get free castles? Because you just rock into someone's country and you take it, you kill them all, and you disband, you know, just push them out of their home, steal all their tech. If they try to come back, you kill them, and then within a generation or two, that that culture has lost all its all its knowledge of tech and everything, and they basically just, uh, yeah, get they just go backwards as far as society and technology, and then they end up with people that we see today that that, and you know, they've lived like that now for a couple hundred years, and they think that's what what they came from. I'm not sure. Maybe they have the stories, but this is what what truly went on: is these people came and stole everything, and then called themselves Freemasons because they got Freemasonry. Right, Freemasonry, Starfort. I mean, look at these. These are just. It looks like. You know, this looks like it could be England, doesn't it? And this is again like this fort, and then it's walled in another big fort. Coming out around here, and these are all just walled forts. Looks like the tip of a star fort. I mean, and these dudes look like they're coming in to just invade. Discoveries Portuguese, the Citadel de Du, Mort de Sultan, Elder Reserve. The Indies, I'm not even, we may not even be in Africa anymore. Look at this boat. Different, isn't it? We just keep going, but this is what the world was, guys, in the 1700s, and these guys went around, these conquistadors, the conquerors, right? And they just found all this stuff and they changed it all. Here's another star for it. Just, I mean, it looks like a, you know, an Edwardian town, you know, these pictures you see of England and stuff, doesn't it? These buildings. But this is not England. Malacca. The House of Malacca. It's a definite star fort, or what's left of it. It's on an island. More buildings here. Mm. I mean, bridge, arches. So who built all this stuff, guys? It's all over the world. <laughs> Gosh, here's another one. I mean, that, look at that. Look, that's a good one. And again, inside we've got the cathedrals, we've got the big, you know, the domes, the towers, the turrets, the big red brick buildings. Another star fort. Discoveries of the Portuguese, the villa of Shaw, the villa of Bassam. And you can see, look at this. I mean, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Let's just look at them. Uh, but that's, yeah, clearly a star fort. Clearly a star fort. And star forts are everywhere, by the way, guys. Here's another one. Village de Mar. I don't know who this dude is. It's probably the Conqueror. Look at that. That's got a nice citadel in the middle still. Nice. So they, this is obviously inhabited. You can see the people who are in there are living in there. So these people would have had a high standard of living. <clears throat> and they've just been... You served by these people. I mean, it's turned into a star fort book, hasn't it? Mangalore, Onor, Brackalore, star fort, star fort, star fort. And that's the last page. <clears throat> so there we go. A bit of a wander through the world in the early 1700s as seen by the Spanish bit of Africa and it looks like we you know we had a bit of sort of uh, the Mediterranean as well in there and of course looking you know very similar to what we see in this map now even in this map even when we come up to these islands in the Mediterranean Crete and stuff you know they're they're, they're covered as well 
This map doesn't seem to show to show the star forts, but I mean they were probably just being depicted differently. So this is the world, guys, as it was. Um, what three? Not long ago, three hundred years, and in that time they've displaced all these people. They've destroyed all this architecture. They've destroyed cultures. They've lost all the knowledge and destroyed all the knowledge. Um, and of course, along the way, there's been disasters um, that have wiped out a lot of the architecture and the knowledge as well. But some, you know, the last reset, someone knew that it was coming, and they have just jumped in and yeah, put their rule on the world and kept our history secret from us. But it's coming back. They can't hide forever. We humans are too curious. So there you go. I hope you like that one, guys. Just some. Interesting pictures, a couple of old books from the 1700s to show you what the world was really like, and that you know it was covered in castles and star forts and walled cities and you know cathedrals and domes and all this stuff, and everyone had it. It was all over the world. Everyone was high tech, well at least higher tech than we're told. You know all the inhabitants of Africa. I mean you know the story that we've been given of them. That, that they never had this, that they were just Bushmen, basically. And again, then the next question is, where did all this go? Is it still there? Has it just been destroyed? Is the Sahara? All those sand dunes, are they just buried cities, towers, castles? Who knows? So there you go. Thank you for spending some time with me, guys. Hope you enjoyed that one. As always, remember that his story is not our story and self-education is the way forward. Thanks for spending some time with me and I shall catch you on the next upload. Bye for now.